Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back to the dugout. Um, now, uh, there is a very, very interesting game ahead of us on Wednesday. It is Liverpool against Chelsea in the European Super Cup final. Um, so that will be, it's going to be a very interesting game as well. Um, no, past matches uh, between Liverpool and Chelsea. No, last season. Uh, Liverpool beat Chelsea 2-0 Anfield um, and then there was a 1-1 draw in uh, Stamford Bridge and then there was a 2-1-1 for Chelsea at Anfield in the Carabao Cup last season. Um, now, obviously, both of these sides go into this match in contrasting form. Uh, Chelsea absolutely demolished 4 0 at Manchester United yesterday, but they actually played very, very well. It was just Manchester United were very clinical. Um, but I have to say that um, Manchester United defended very well in the second half, and um, you know Maguire and uh, Wan Bissaka clearly Im improved that team definitely. Um, but you know Frank Lampard will go f will away from that match thinking what might have been because Tammy Abraham hit the post, Emerson hit the post. Um, Barkley had a shot saved by De Gea, and then obviously you know Emerson. Again, um, you know, saved by De Gea. So, um, yeah, I think I think Chelsea will go into that, go f go away from that match feeling a little bit disappointed. But having said that, they definitely um, will be up for this one, no doubt about it. Um, Liverpool four one winners over uh, Norwich City um, last time out. Um, just before I obviously go into the preview. Um, Two bits of news have emerged. There is increasing rumours that Dejan Lovren may leave Liverpool. Um, there is a big, big rumour going around that Roma are apparently very, very interested in Dejan Lovren and uh, it could see his um, six-year stay at Liverpool come to an end, which would be very, very interesting. Cons um, Sorry, I've said six years. Uh, six years, six years. Um, his, so he he um he might be leaving Liverpool. Um, so obviously Klopp looks like he's going to put Set Vandenberg as the fourth choice centre back, which would be very very interesting. Um, I, and it, it is led to believe that Dejan Lovren doesn't really like being the fourth choice centre back. So I think. I think it would be good for all parties if he does go, but if he does go, he will go with the best wishes of the club, best wishes, wishes from me. I wasn't so keen on him joining, I'll be honest with you, first time around, but since he's pl he's been a very good servant for Liverpool, and you know, he will leave a Champions League winner again. Um, so if, if he does go, then and good, good luck to him. The other bit, bit of news is that Andy Lonergan looks like he will be signing a short-term contract with Liverpool um, as sort of backup to Adrian at the moment as Alison Becker is injured uh, with a calf injury and Jurgen Klopp has actually said he's going to be out for a few weeks. So how long? Who knows? But it has been rumoured to be 4 to 8 weeks, so it would mean that he would miss... He would miss Premier League matches against Southampton, Arsenal. Obviously, um, I'll, st I'll st start that again. He obviously miss games against Chelsea, Southampton, Arsenal, Burnley, mm, Newcastle. The champion first Champions League group stage match, and Chelsea. So, it it would be very very good to get a, get a backup. I did see rumours that they were going to be going for. Uh, uh, there was there was rumours that apparently they were going to bring Carius back, but I really hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Um, so let's get into this game. Um, Liverpool and Chelsea have met loads and loads of times. Uh, it's literally became a rivalry when the Benitez clock, the Benitez uh, Mourinho days, definitely. Um, and you know there's been some classic games. I remember sort of Chelsea Liverpool being four four. In the Champions League, um, you know, Chelsea won for a three-one uh, aggregate. Uh, went three-one ahead in the first leg, and then, you know, that was that was a crazy game. The the four-four, but obviously last season, you know, I, like I said at the start of the, the start of the stream, two-nil uh, for Liverpool. Um, Mohamed Salah with that wonder goal. Um, 
Uh, I, I can't I can't get can't get over that one. And uh, and then obviously one one at uh, at Stamford Bridge with Daniel Sturge scored an absolute worldy past Kepa as well. Um, I think. I think it's going to be an interesting game, considering that this is the first ever game that a woman in a referee will uh, actually referee this game. Um, so it's the first ever time that a woman's referee is going to referee a men's match. So this will be very, very interesting. But I expect a very good, good game. Uh, I think it will be very, very tight. I think, I think Liverpool will look at that. Um, I think their front three will be. The, um, I think Manny will definitely come back in for this game. I would not be also surprised to see Naby Keita, uh as well. I don't think Dejan Lovren will be even involved. I think I think his time is coming to an end. Um, and I think Andy Lonergan will definitely be on the bench. Um, he won't start. Uh, so um, obviously Adrian will get his full debut uh, as well. Um, and mainly the only long-term injury right for us is Nathaniel Klein so it's going to be very very interesting to see what, what kind of teams uh, it's going to be but I expect this to be a tight close game um, I also reckon it's going to be a very very close one um, but obviously you know Liverpool European champions Chelsea Europa League champions it's you know it's two two good teams um, obviously Liverpool uh, will be, I wouldn't say favourites, but, you know, with Chelsea obviously coming off back of a 4-0 defeat, you know, it'd be interesting to see where their mindset is at. I do expect Chelsea to come out of this game, and, you know, I, 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 expect, I expect them to attack. The one thing that really impressed me with Chelsea is, now, I know their team was not very, very good. I mean, I, if I remember, remember the the team rightly, it was so it was, it was Kepa and goal, and then it was Aspilicueta, Zuma, who I thought had a torrid time at Old Trafford a year ago. He did, Christensen, Emerson, and it was Jorginho, Kovacic, Pedro Mount. Who was the other one? Um, Barkley, and then Abraham. Abraham had a pretty good game, I thought. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of team Chelsea play, considering that obviously Abraham started the game. But will we see Mishi Batshuayi come in? Will we see Olivier Giroud come in? That will be interesting to see. So I think Frank Lampard is very, very good at actually, you know, giving players youth uh, a chance. And obviously, he gave Mason Mount a, a, a go. Is he likely to give other other players a go? Um, I think selling David Luiz, it was all it was the right deal for all parties. I think uh, it does leave Chelsea a little bit short at the back, though. I've noticed. I think, as far as I'm aware, I think we've only got three centre backs, which is very very interesting, considering that obviously they haven't they were not able to sign anyone, so it's been a very very interesting time of things for Chelsea. Uh, the only player they've brought in was Kovacic. So, it, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of team they play. Um, I'll get into my starting 11 for Liverpool. Um, and then I might p try and predict a Chelsea team. Because the Chelsea team is going to be very, very interesting. And it will be very, very um, intriguing to see who actually starts for uh, for the Blues, um, obviously um, they play Leicester City on Sunday, so they'll have more time to rest after this game uh, than Liverpool, because obviously Liverpool go to Southampton um, at the weekend as well. So, but uh, this game does matter. Uh, I've seen people say it's a glorified friend friendly. Uh, I think. More to the case that the Community Shield is probably more than a probably more glorified friendly than this is because Liverpool have won the European Super Cup before, um, so it'd be very very annoying for me to say that this does matter. This does matter. This does matter. So, so I think I think with that said, let's get into the starting eleven prediction now. This is going to be fairly, fairly straightforward, I think, for me. 
Um, so in goal, I'm going to go for Adrian. I think I know he he got a really good reception when he came on the other night. I think he. I did think he was very slow in going down for the goal, but having said that, he did make a couple of good saves. I think he will. He'll keep his. He'll. He'll. He'll come in for. Uh, for obviously the injured Allison, uh, who we wish you very well. Um. So hopefully he gets. He gets back. But yeah, in goal it'll be Adrian. Um. Right back, I'm gonna go for Trent Alexander Arnold. I think Trent had a, another one of his weird games. He was very good offensively, but defensively he still looks a bit suspect. And uh, you know Chelsea will probably play. Well, I'll come to Chelsea's team in a minute, but. I would probably expect Pulisic to maybe play there. So, yeah, that's going to be another test because, um, you know, Pulisic on the left-hand side, Trent against Trent Alexander-Arnold, it's going to be a very interesting uh, battle. So that'll be very, very interesting to see what uh, what happens there. Uh, in, uh, beside um, Trent Alexander-Arnold, I'm going to go for Joe Matip. And this isn't any criticism on Joe Gomez. I do think Matip will come in uh, because, obviously, he did play in the Champions League final. Gomez didn't, um, so it'd be very interesting to see that one. Uh, but I do, I do expect, um, I do expect Matip to start. Um, I think he's very unlucky to actually miss out um, after obviously scoring in the Community Shield. So I think Matip will be beside the colossal that is Virgil Van Dijk. Um, you know. He was really mad when Liverpool conceded against Norwich the other night. So you know. But he, he looked he looked very he looked solid again. He he's he's always he seems to be always be very very solid. So, um so yeah so the two centre backs will be Matip and Van Dijk, and then left back there's only one left back for me Andy Robertson, um Scottish Braveheart. I think that he had a very good game against Norwich. Um, he did try and obviously, you know, he did try and get uh, Salah into uh, into that uh, scoring position, but, uh, but yeah, so back four probably um, probably Alexander Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk, and Robertson into the central defensive midfield role. I'm going to go for Fabinho um, again, another solid performance against Norwich City. So fully expect him to uh, keep his place. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The left-hand sided midfielder, I'm going to go for Naby Keita. I think, I, I think Naby Keita will come in for this game. And I think we'll need his driving force from midfield. Um, I think he is going to have a better season, like I said in the last stream. I think he is going to have a better season this season. And I think he might actually start this game. So I'm going to go for Naby Keita with Fabinho. Um, right hand side of midfielder is Jordan Henderson, um, obviously captain of Liverpool. Um, I did see contrasting views about his performance against Norwich. Um, me personally, I did think he kind of missed some balls out, but you know he did he did he did what he had to do. But uh, yeah, I fully expect him to uh, fully expect him to start. Uh, the left forward role, I'm going to go for Sadio Mane. Now, this isn't any criticism of Diva Kuriri. I just think Mane is ready. He looked really sharp when he came on uh, the other night against Norwich. Uh, so I do expect him to play. Um, I, I do expect him to play from the start, and then maybe Origi come uh, come onto the uh, come onto the, the scene. Uh, maybe in the sort of 60, 70th minute. So we'll definitely need pace um, up front. Uh, for coming on, so, uh, so it'll be very very interesting for that one. Uh, alongside him, the forward role, I'm gonna go for Roberto Firmino, who I thought was absolutely outstanding against uh, Norwich City, and I think he will need definitely need to, uh, him to continue that way uh, as well. Um, he looks re he looks really really sharp. So the goals are gonna come for Firmino, um. So hopefully, hopefully it is this. Uh, this this game coming up, um, and uh, and the the last person to start obviously is Mohamed Salah. Um, he had a very good game against Norwich City. Fully expect him to uh, to do it, and uh, you know he, he scored in the Champions League final. So, you know this will be a good uh, a good test, and uh, you know Emerson against Salah last season was very interesting as well. So, 
I'm interested in seeing what, uh, what happens what happens to there. So that's my starting eleven. So it's Adrian, Alexander Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk, uh, Robertson, Fabinho, Hen uh, Henderson, Keita, Mane, Firmino, Salah. Uh, so obviously on the bench. Now I do believe that, that I'm not actually sure that it, can we have six subs? I think there's. I think because it's a Super Cup, I think we do have to. Have, I think we. Then we can make six subs, so it'll be very interesting. So I think we'll have a we'll have a big bench. So obviously on there will be uh, Lonergan, um, Gomez, Milner, Lalana, Ox, Origi, uh, Brewster. Be nice to see Brewster get get a wee a wee run out. Definitely. Uh, could see Ryan Kent. We could definitely see Ryan Kent. I'm not going to say Dejan Lovren, like I said, I do think he is on his way out, so I don't think he is going to, uh, he's going to feature, uh, and we might see Seth Van Vandenberg as well, so, but if anyone can, can actually let me know that we can use six subs in this game, please let me know, because I'm not so sure that we can now, and I actually doubt it myself, <laughs> so it's going to be very, very, uh, interesting there, so, that's the Liverpool team. Now, the Chelsea team. This could be very, very interesting. I've never done this before, but let's try and predict a Chelsea eleven. Right. So, in goal, I would probably expect Kepa to start. Uh, number one goalkeeper at Chelsea. Um, so, you would expect him You would expect him to start. Right-hand side, Aspilicueta, who had a mixed game against Manchester United has to be said um, I didn't think he covered himself in glory for the second goal that was Martial but having said that uh, you know Chelsea didn't defend very well at all um, I don't know if Rudiger's back I'm not sure if he's quite 100% yet so it could be Zuma again I think Christensen will probably start and then Emerson will probably start now do you play Jorginho and Kante together, or do you play one and then have one on the bench? That's another interesting one. So, for me, I think Lampard might play them together. So, I'm going to go Jorginho, Kante, because I don't think Kovic has had a very good game for Chelsea. Um, and then, left-hand side, I do think Pulisic will start. I don't get why Jose Mourinho in the Sky Studio said Mason Mount had a poor game. I thought he was pretty good, to be fair. So I think he'll keep his place. Uh, and then probably Pedro, I would say. And then up front is interesting. I think it could be Batshuayi. That's my, that's my feeling. It could be Batshuayi. It could be Giroud. Um, it could be Batshuayi, it could be Abraham. So, Chelsea, my Chelsea, I think Chelsea will go with something like Kepa, Aspilicueta, Zuma, Christensen, Emerson, Jorginho, Kante, Pulisic, Mount, Pedro, and then I'm going to go for Batshuayi up front. And then obviously coming off their bench, uh, well, you've got Caballero, you've got Tomori, you've got, well, if he's, if he's fit, Rudiger, um, you've got Barkley, you have, who else do you have? Hudson-Odoi, Hudson I think he's injured still, obviously Loftus Cheek is injured, Kovacic, Abraham Giroud, so it'll be be very very interesting to see um this game is obviously being played in the at in the, uh in istanbul i think it's besiktas stadium i think as far as i'm aware so again that'll be another uh interesting test um but uh, obviously liverpool had previous in istanbul and we all know that um 2005 and actually i'm actually wearing a retro kit i'm actually wearing a well it's not a retro kit but it's it's um one of the first few years that we got the standard chart. Um, I think this is 2012, I think. Um, so I think I think that's going to be interesting. So, 
As far as a score prediction is concerned, now this could go either way. This could go any any one way. It could be very very tight, and it could go to the very last few minutes, and Liverpool are on the attack, or Chelsea are on the attack, and they could grab a goal. Or it could be that Liverpool start on the front foot, and then hit Chelsea with a couple of goals early on. And then Chelsea could come back into it, and then Liverpool could actually get another goal. So, or it could go to, or it could be a very, very narrow 1 0 or something. But for me, I do think Liverpool will win. Um, I'm going to go for a 2 1 win to Liverpool, uh, or will I go 3 1? No, I'm going to go 3 1. I'll go for I'll go for a three one win with Salah scoring, Mane scoring, um, and then they'll pull one back through Pulisic. I do think Pulisic would score. Um, and then I'm going to go for a Virgil Van Dijk header. So I'm going to go for a three one win for Liverpool and. Um, yeah, hopefully they bring the, the European Super Cup home. So that would be that be a good good restart to the to the season. So, um, so that that kind of wraps up my uh, preview, my starting eleven prediction, and also uh, my prediction for the for the game. If anyone else wants to have their say, then obviously put your prediction in the comments section below. And obviously, put your starting eleven. Uh, if you're a Liverpool fan or if you're a Chelsea fan, then put your starting eleven prediction in there as well. Um, this game is on BT Sport, so obviously, if you are, if you are one of the unlucky ones like myself, because I am working, I will miss this game. So, um, but obviously, I will try and watch it on the. Uh, so this game's on Wednesday, so I'm going to maybe try and watch it Thursday, hopefully. Um, and then there will probably be a match uh, review uh, stream after that. Um, but obviously, if not, then obviously I do have my Premier League predictions to come out as well. That will be coming out on probably Friday, I don't think there's a Premier League, I don't think there's a Premier League game on Friday this week, <coughs> so there will probably be that, and also I will be doing my Southampton-Liverpool preview at some point as well, um, so, but yes, um, like I said, going to be a very, very interesting game, um, Look, I'm looking looking forward to seeing what uh, what Liverpool can do, and obviously uh, how Chelsea react after the drubbing that they got at Old Trafford. Um, so, so thank you very much for watching this uh, watching the stream, and uh, like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. That would be fantastic for me. Um, and I really hope people are enjoying my uh, my videos. Um, I know I stutter at some points, but it's because so um so yes thank you very much for watching my my video and uh yes come on the reds come on the reds let's bring the european super cup home this means more thank you very much cheers <laughs>